just, I just want to be clear, a recognition on your government's part that the dangers of those markets where live wild animals were sold alongside other foodstuffs, they were dangers that did cause the spread of coronavirus from animals to humans. I agree with that. Finally, we have a few points to agree with. I'm very pleased with that. That's why this market, we are talking about wildlife market. It totally banned. You know, they, it's illegal to hunt, to treat, to eat even. So, uh, you know, some uh, uh, people, area, people watching this, Ambassador, people change, watching this will only wish that you'd made that ban real before the coronavirus spread and caused such terrible damage around the world. Are you in any way now prepared to say sorry for what has happened? No, you'll you come to your, the first point again. You can't blame China for coronavirus. Oh, oh, that's the problem, you know, with this argument. Uh, it was found in China. It was found many places. The places have no any connection with China at all. So I, you can't point in your uh, fingers at China for the outbreak. And we have done our, our best capability. China is a victim of the coronavirus. You know, Ambassador. China is yeah. not a source of this problem. China is not the producer of this uh, in, uh, epidemic. And that is something we have to come clean about. China, you know, Ambassador, is seen, uh, for example, by leading politicians in this country, like the chairman of the Parliamentary Foreign Affairs Select Committee, as very much the cause. He's talked about a Soviet-style system, a toxic system inside your government, inside your regime, which he says has been responsible not just for betraying the Chinese people and their health and well-being, but betraying the wider world as well. And there are now calls for the United Kingdom and also calls in the United States and other countries for a disengagement from close economic ties with China. In Britain, it's uh, of course, centered on Huawei and your telecoms giants' activities in the 5G sector. People saying that should no longer be tolerated in the United Kingdom. As the ambassador in the UK, are you worried that there is going to be now an economic disengagement? Yes or no. I think here in London, I have a very close contact with the secretaries, uh, including right. Secretary Man Han uh, Hancock and Sharma, uh, Foreign Secretary Rob, you know, we have a very strong, robust relationship. And uh, you quote uh, those people, use uh, a Soviet example. I think this is a totally Cold War mentality. We are living in the third decade of the 21st century. But those people still live in the old days when they are fighting Cold War. China is not a formal Soviet Union. I think China, UK, or has, uh, you know, um, uh, many, we, we, we are united by common interests than divided by our differences. So I'm very confident about this relationship. All right. Well, Ambassador, we have to end there. But I do thank you very much indeed for joining me on Hard Talk at this dif difficult time. Liu Xiaoming, thank you very much indeed. My pleasure.